Hey guys, and welcome to today's vlog. So today I'm going to show you guys how Cal and Dali are getting on at the moment with their jumping, specifically Dali. So if you guys watched my last two vlogs, which were off the show, um, our first international in France, you'll know that Dali was a very good boy, but we did lack a bit of rideability. So I've been really, really working on his rideability around a course. Um, I'll insert some videos of what I've been doing and a bit of a voiceover to explain. So what myself and actually Lauren as well have been doing is that we've been looking up um, really difficult Grand Prix courses online and then making them here at home and setting them just as really small little jumps like little cavalettis and then jumping through them really really focusing on our strides our lines our rideability and then we'll do that for a couple of days and then near the end of the week we'll put them all up to a course like of the height that we're competing at and jump around it and then put what we learned when they were cavalettis into practice as bigger jumps so this course that i'm doing now in a minute is going to look very familiar because it's actually the same course that i jump on this day just a lot bigger so the first time I rode around the course, I did the correct number of strides, but it's actually coming up extremely easy to get the strides. This is mainly because when the jumps are quite small, it is a lot easier to hold Dali because when the jumps are big, he does these big jumps. And then that's what, you know, I don't sit up quick enough. I can't get my control back quick enough. So to kind of increase the difficulty, I actually added a stride down every distance so I'm so when it's meant to be a seven strides, I'm riding eight strides, etc. And you can see there is moments where he's, you know, fighting me a little bit, but he's generally very good and we're getting all the strides that we want. Um, and then this really stands to us um, when we go to jump the course and we do the correct number of strides, for example, the actual seven strides. Um, it suddenly feels so easy because we're used to over shortening. Then when even when the jumps are added in, um, all the strides come up really nicely. So I was really, really happy with this and happy with his rideability, his flying changes, my lines, all felt really good. Wow, oh. holy shit. <laughs> So it's now been two weeks since that show and today I'm going to jump him another course. Um, yesterday I jumped it, well, rode, rode it as poles and cavalettis, so very, very small jumps. And he was really, really good. So that is what I'm going to get up to today with Dali. He's going to jump around a course. I'm going to start it at 1 meter 15 and then put everything up two holes um, to 125 and then see how that goes. That is all going well. So I would like to jump some bigger courses on him and I feel like definitely based on how he jumped last week it felt very good and it felt like that's definitely a possibility quite soon so I just want to practice at home first and then on Cal, Cal hasn't uh, jumped since the show he's just done pull work, Calavaletti's, raised trotting poles on the lunge, gone to the gallops a couple of times just really working on that fitness and that strength um, and then today will be his first time jumping. Um, today will be his first time jumping anything over like a meter. So I will jump the same course on him. I jumped as Cavalletti's yesterday, but didn't get a video, so I was riding on my own. Um, but I'm going to jump as a course today, probably like 130, and then maybe 140, just to see how he feels. But if he does feel very good and very forward, I probably won't jump over jump him too much. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. So it's currently raining and I'm currently riding my first horse of the day, which is, um, her name is Gigi. Um, she's not mine, obviously. <laughs> so while I'm at Lauren's, I do ride some other horses. I don't know if I said that. So I'm riding Gigi first and then Fernanda, which is Lauren's grey mare, who's really lovely. Um, I'm riding them first because they're getting flat work today, so we're going to ride in the indoor because it's currently raining outside. But it is meant to clear up in the Arvo, so hopefully it'll be nice and clear for Cal and Dali to jump. And Lauren is also going to jump Gabbana, so very, very exciting. Okay, so I've ridden uh, Gigi and Fernanda. They were both really, really good. 
Now it is time to ride Dali around the course. So I've set up the jumps at around 1 meter 15 and then left two of the jumps small as warm ups. So I'm about to get them now and yeah, start warming up. And I'll get someone to video so you can see everything that happens. Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a bit of a voiceover and just chat to you guys a little bit about some of the riding with Dally. So this is just a few clips of um, the warm up, just a little bit of trotting around, nothing too exciting there. Um, just lots of circling, changing the bend, getting a moving off my inside leg and um, I'm relaxing over his back and just loosening up his muscles. Then in the canter, um, what I tend to do is uh, ride them really forward down the long sides and practice my breaks basically. So I'll ride him forward and then ask him to shorten and really he needs to respond immediately into a little small canter because the really forward canter just kind of simulates you know in a round if he jumps a big jump um and he lands on a big long stride i need to be able to sit back and he needs to come back to me straight away in case there's a jump coming up very quickly so we just do a bit of that some flying changes and then do the same on the other rein So now I'm just coming around to some small warm-up fences. What we did was we um, just picked a vertical and an oxer as a warm-up fence and then left everything up to the height that I wanted to jump. Just kind of try and simulate a competition where you just have your two warm-up jumps and then you go straight into the round. So I was really happy with how he was jumping. He was really relaxed, confident felt good listening to me so I couldn't um so I just worked away with those jumped a few bigger ones and then it was time to jump the whole course so I'll talk you guys around the course now so the first fence is off the left rein it's a nice oxer um, sometimes those turns can be a little bit difficult where you're just slightly veering off the edge of the arena. It's hard to keep straight, so it's just important with the outside leg. This was quite a tough line, so you want to get really square to this water tray. And then this can be 10 or 11 strides, so I did 11 on this one on this time, but you can see I got a little bit close to that oxer, so the next time I did 10, then it was a four or five strides to a double with a water tray. So that water tray really backs them off. So then you have to end up riding a bit stronger. This is a seven stride distance. So just nice and quiet into the vertical, um, seven quiet strides, and then um, another vertical with a plank in it. So then you have a bit of breathing room and we come around the top of the arena to a double of verticals, then six strides to an oxer, then seven strides to a bending line. So all comes up quite quickly. So I rode in quite strong into that uh, double. You can see he gives a huge effort coming out. Um, then I just rode for the six strides and then nice and wide and quiet to get the seven strides. Then we're coming around to this red oxer and it's a bending seven strides to another line so seven strides here around that little yellow cone to help it stay out 
and then it's four strides to an oxer and it's those four strides that can be quite difficult with him because I have so much less time to set him up so it was really good that that came up quite nice and easy and then just around to this walled finish which is no problem at all so that was all about 115 kind of 120 ish then these ones are now 120 125 there's a couple of 130 jumps so over the first fence again he jumped that fence so well every time so then I come around, I actually end up circling because I just didn't f have a good feeling with my lying. I let him drift out through his right shoulder too much. So when I come around again, I go really square and I use my outside leg, so my right leg, to almost push him around and keep that shoulder in so that we had nice straight lying. This time I did the 10 strides and you can see it comes up much nicer with that oxer. And then I didn't have to push as much for the five strides to the double either. So um, definitely the 10 strides was the better option for him. Then we're coming around to the seven strides again. Um, no problem at all. He's giving, he gives, even though he, when he gives the big jump, he still lands really listening to me. And he used to land and almost pull me down with his nose. Whereas now he's landing and staying quite up and looking for the next fence, which is a really nice feeling. So I ride a little bit strong to this again. Not really sure why, but he jumps it class. Really nice with his back end. Then it's the six strides. Then it's the seven strides on the outside line, making sure I don't cut my corner. Really good. Then we come around to this. So he has this next fence down not the red oxer and really it's because he jumps good and then he actually comes back to me really easily so i actually have to push him forward then for the seven he just barely touches it but then comes back really well for the last oxer and then just around to the wall and then i left him at that because he was just so good that pull he had down was not really an issue at all so it wasn't worth repeating i was really really happy with him Wowee. <laughs> so I just jumped Ali and he was pretty class. I am so thrilled with him. So I jumped it first a little bit smaller. Um, interestingly, one of the distances is a five strides and it was actually coming up like I wasn't holding. I was just riding him forward, which is unheard of for Dali. Like he usually is towing me down distances with his huge long stride and I have no hope of getting there on the correct stride. And now we've done so much work, like you have no idea, so much work <laughs> with his stride and his rideability and my control after the fence and also me riding better and sitting up way quicker after the fence and not falling in a heap <laughs> after the jump when he gives me one of those big jumps. And oh my gosh, the difference is insane. He was so, so good. Um, yeah, I couldn't be more, I couldn't be happier with him, to be honest. And um, then I did the course once more at the very end, a little bit, some of the jumps a little bit bigger. So they were all like, they were all at least 120. Um, and then some of them were 130. And he was just class. We did touch one fence at the very, very end, literally touched it so lightly that it didn't even fall. It's right there. <laughs> it just half fell um but yeah i don't mind that it's because that vertical i will have done a voiceover but the vert that vertical to that um oxer is a fa sorry four strides and three and four stride distances are a little bit our nemesis more so than the longer distances because i have so little time to get him back so over the vertical i was just a little bit probably too upright in my body and um held him very quickly um, also, so that was one part of why he knocked it and then also the red oxer before, it's the seven bending line and usually again I'm usually really holding him and getting there close and no I actually ended up a little bit off the seven and had to ride him for that last stride which probably just flattened his jump a little bit and to be honest he's really quite tired, <laughs> that was a lot of jumping for him and a lot of very hard work like it's just hard for him. He's using all new muscles. Um, he's really using his core to um, to collect and sit on his bum. And yeah, he 
worked really, really hard, but was such a good boy. Um, so that was my only mistake there in the last um, round. Other than that, <laughs> other than that, he felt absolutely brilliant. I, yeah, so happy. And some of the jumps, like for example, the double of verticals, he looked insane. So athletic in his body, really, really happy. So yeah, basically moral of the story is I love Dadley, he's a great boy. So I'm very, very pleased. So he has another two weeks of schooling at home before his next show. So we're gonna be hopefully flying it in another two weeks time. I kind of only jump him once a week, like do one course a week and the rest of the week he goes to the gallops, lunge, flat work and courses of Cavaletti's. So that's kind of his daily or weekly routine. Um, he only jumps like this once a week. So, really pleased. So, Lauren's gonna ride a couple of horses. It's starting to rain now, and then I'm gonna ride Cal a little bit later in the day. Lauren also got some pretty nice videos on my good camera. Um, so, definitely go to my Instagram to see those because I feel like they're gonna be chef's kiss. Like, so good. Okay, it really is starting to rain now, so I'm going to bring him back in and yeah, do his stretches and yeah. Also, I have to say, huge shout out to Lauren because I feel like the horses are jumping so well since I've come to France and a lot of that is because Lauren is doing such amazing work on their bodies. Like she's a physio and chiropractor, has a master's, like she is top notch like physio and yeah, she is doing yeah, great work on them. She treats them once a week. They get, um, she has like a microwave machine, lasers, everything. They get that every day, you know, like, yeah, it's really, really good. So I think the boys are just feeling so good. They're so happy to be here. So anyway, I will catch up with you guys in a bit when I have Cal. So it's time for Cal to jump. This is the microwave machine that I was talking about. Hmm, I've been feeling really good since starting it. Good boy. Ready to go, Cal? Okay, so now we move on to Cal. So this is just Cal warming up the exact same as with Dali. Just popping him over a few small fences, um, getting him into the groove. He felt really good on this day. Um, I think all the galloping and fitness work is standing to him because he had lots of energy. He was kind of really bringing me to the fences um, and felt really keen and really full of the joys of life, which was great to feel. So that was my last warm up jump and then we head into the course. So with these courses on car, like it's not like Dali at all. It's so simple. Um, Cal is two years older than Dali. He's also just, you know, he's smaller, he's quicker. It just comes so easy to him. Here we do our 10 strides. Like, it looks like I'm not pulling, I'm not doing anything, and that's because I'm kind of not. He just is so simple. <laughs> all the strides kind of come up right for him. And... Yeah, it's just quite basic. Here's the seven strides. So this course is like 125. Um, it's not huge. It was just to pop around and try the course. And then we put it up afterwards to like a 135 course. And then we jump at the end some 150 oxers. So here he is through the double verticals. I get him a little bit close, but he says no problem and jumps lovely the six strides and then the seven strides and like you're just so adjustable you know if I want to just go on a slightly outside line I can just put my left my inside leg on and he just leg yields across and makes more room you know like I have so many options with him he has so many buttons um yeah it's pretty much a joy to ride to be honest and then we just come to the wall Oh, that was him shaking there was because it was a big gust of wind and it went in his ears and he didn't like it, which was, made me laugh a little bit when we were riding. But then we just come to the, the wall, no problem. So then we put it up and I jumped the first half of the course and then we put up the second half quite big and then I jumped that a couple of times 
just kind of schooling. So this is just the first half, a little bit bigger, just kind of the same, to be honest. Do the 10 strides again. Um, it comes up a little bit shorter this time because he knew where he was going, I think. And then we come down to the double. Feels really good. He's really quick through doubles through the second part. And it feels good. Although we might do a little bit of grid work next week just to keep practicing that and keep him quick and sharp through grids and doubles. So now I jump the double of verticals and then go down to a 145-150 oxer. I think it's 145 the first time and then it's 150. I read him quite strong, mostly because I'm quite nervous. <laughs> um, total transparency, but he couldn't care less. So I just put up another hole and then we pop down it. And then we also jump the red fence at 145, 150. So you can see he just absolutely pinged that. Um, he loves the big fences, to be honest. So he comes down to this, which is the back bar is like 150, but it's not as wide as the first oxer. So he just kind of pings over it, no problem. Um, I should have been a bit stronger in my core on landing and not tipped forward like that. But I think I kind of forgive myself a little bit when the jumps get big because riding can sometimes go a little bit out of the window, but very, very happy. Just finished jumping. Cal was literally jumping things the size of himself. <laughs> He's like, well, first I must go over it and then I must go through it. <laughs> yeah, you're crazy. He's like, I can fly though. <laughs> pretty good pretty good again <laughs> yeah i'm really really pleased with him the rideability was like perfect he is just so so simple to ride like that is a really tough course uh, i forgot to say it, but the courses that we build in the arena we just get the course plans of like five star grand prix courses <laughs> so they're like really technical but obviously we're not jumping them at 160 so it makes it a little bit easier but still um they're still tricky like lots of tricky lines um and stuff but he just makes it so easy like especially when you compare it to dali he's obviously just younger and bigger um yeah cal just nips around it's very very simple he can shorten he can lengthen he'll do whatever um so we just popped around it twice the first time at like 130 ish and then the second time at like 140 ish um and he was really really good really good i'm really happy with him and then we just jumped then i just jumped to oxers really big like 150 um, mostly because I just need to start getting used to riding down to fences that size. Um, like, I've just never done it, he's never done it, but that's the height that I want to be competing at. So, yeah, we just need to get, in the, get into the vibe of it. And yeah, I rode him a little bit too strong, and that's why he's really, really good in front and really careful. But because I rode him so strong, we were a little bit close, so he, his back end wasn't as good as it usually is, but. He was still pretty good, I can't really complain. Um, and then we jumped the Red Oxer as well, just to continue on a bit of a, so it wasn't just a single fence. Although we did the double of verticals beforehand and he was so good through that every time. So yeah, basically he's a legend. I love him so much. And I'm very, very excited to our, for our next show, which is in two weeks time, possibly in two weeks time. My entries actually haven't been accepted yet. Um, so it might be full. But if it doesn't get accepted for that one, then there's another show the following weekend, another international anyway. So um, we'll do that regardless. So next show is either in two weeks or three weeks time. Um, yeah, so really exciting. Yeah, really exciting times. Um, so happy with how they're going. I feel like we're improving so much all the time and yeah, thrilled.